Room for the Wall 23 is now in the history books. It's uh, all behind us, uh, all but the getting home, and that's kind of been a different deal this year. Carolyn and I are on our motorcycle riding by ourselves, so there's no more schedules, no more people looking for us to give them direction, uh, make decisions. Um, therefore, all the adrenaline's gone, all the excitement's gone, and we still have 1,427 miles to go. So uh, we're just going to try to pedal on down the road and see how far we can get. But as we look in the rearview mirror of this event and what it has meant, I guess the thing that I come away with it the most is ride, we ride for those who can. And I've heard that every year, I've quoted it every year, but being a non-veteran it probably made more of an impact this year on me than ever. You know, uh, Bill Carlisle, the man who affirmed my contribution uh, of time and energy and resources out here on Run for the Wall, this was his year to come to the Vietnam Wall for the first time and he passed away and didn't get to come. I think of Greg Laramore, a friend of mine who, who we worked together, worshiped together, and uh, he always had a desire to do Run for the Wall and physically could never do it. And we scattered his ashes this last year from Agent Orange. And then I thought of my cousin who came home physically from Vietnam but never made it home and uh, a childhood friend, Carl Burton. And as I rode that last day out there in the very front, um, I didn't have any duties just to ride along. And I thought of those men who I was riding for. And then that day coming down after we crossed in front of the uh, Capitol and came down another side road headed back to the Vietnam Wall in the parade or the protest ride, there was a lady standing there with a banner and it said, uh, my son, my hero, Eric. And I thought, God, here I'm riding for her. And yet then you deal with the sovereignty of God. Why am I riding and she's not? Why is it her son and not mine? And what a blessing it is to be given the privilege of riding for those who can't. Now I've written a long report, I say long, I tried to make it just one sentence, uh, little statements, but there's so many good things that came from Room for the Wall this year. Uh, God just so blessed our efforts, and I, I'd encourage you to read them and maybe look at some of the pictures. Thank you for those that have followed us and those that have made the comments. Thanks to the churches all across the country that have supported us financially, coming and feeding meals, going out and holding up banners. Whatever you did, thank you. And um, for the 70 some people who serve the meals, the 55 riders, either that rode all the way or part way, or the five people who rode in cages or vehicles as most people call them, we just give a great big thank you. And may God bless you, and uh, we trust that you know we used your resources well. Until later, this is Shepard.